The Advent Storybook, 25 Bible Stories Showing Why Jesus Came by Laura Ritchie, illustrated by Ian Dale. Today is day three. A perfect life ends. Here's the illustration. That is Adam and Eve. They were naked and happy. Now they are clothed and sad. Leaving the Garden of Eden. Heading out into a world of unknowns. But actually what they do know at this point is that it's not going to be nearly the utopia it's not going to be perfect like it was in fact he's going to have to work really really hard to even get food to grow out of the ground she's going to have a lot of pain during childbirth and he's going to rule over her let's get into this here we go <clears throat> genesis chapters 2 and 3 romans 3 23 through 24 for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Satan took the form of a snake and found the man and the woman. Satan asked, Did God really say you can't eat from that Did God really say that you can't eat from any tree in the garden? The woman corrected Satan. God said if we eat from just this one tree, or even touch it, we will die. The serpent lied. You all won't really die. If you eat from it, you'll be like God, knowing good and evil. So prior to that, they only knew good. The delicious fruit looked good. It could make them wise. Everything God made was good. Why would God keep a good thing from them? The woman decided to disobey God. She picked the fruit and ate some, and she gave some to the man. He ate the fruit too, and then something terrible happened. Before they were clothed by God's glory, now they felt naked. Before they knew only good, now they knew evil too. Before they had never been afraid, now they felt guilty and terrified. When they heard God walking in the garden, they hid. The serpent had deceived the woman. The woman and the man had disobeyed God. The perfect relationships between God, his people, and his creation were gone. So God told the serpent and the woman and the man what would happen. The snake must crawl on its belly eating dust. The woman would be hurt by having babies and the man would rule over her. The man would work very hard to grow food for his family, and God would send them out of his perfect garden. But God also spoke a promise. One day, a son of woman would crush the head of the serpent, and the evil that Satan had started would end. God killed an animal and made clothes for Adam and Eve. They left the beautiful garden now death, sadness, fear, and evil were part of their world. Their only hope was God's promise. What did they hope for? They hoped for, Franklin was racing out the door this morning to basketball, and I said, what did they hope for? And he said, they hoped for God's promise. All right, good answer, Franklin. But what was God's promise? His promise was that one day a son of woman would crush the head of the serpent, and the evil that Satan had started would end. And that son of that woman is Jesus Christ, born of the Virgin Mary. That's it. Oh, look at my Christmas lights. <laughs> That's it for today. That's it for today. Merry, Merry Christmas.